Hi, welcome to Miss Woodward Reads. Today we are reading El Barrio. Written by Debbie Chocolat, illustrated by David Diaz. What is a barrio? Does anybody know? It's a Spanish word. This is El Barrio, my home in the city with its rain-washed murals and sparkling graffiti. El Barrio is Spanish Harlem, Humboldt Park, and Tar Beach parties. Look at everything going on in these illustrations. I see music being played, a grill, singing, people together. El Barrio is where Nativity Parades, Cinco de Mayo, and Day of the Dead explode into big holidays. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad means Merry Christmas. See lots of holidays in there. El Barrio is a quinceanera party. My sister turns 15 today in a swollen birthday pinata bursting with candy treasure. Do you ever have a pinata at their birthday? That is a Mexican tradition. El Barrio is where my cousins come from lots of different lands, Mexico, Colombia, Puerto Rico, and Cuba, and where on Sundays, Aztec eyes and Mayan faces go to La Iglesia to pray. This is a picture of my sister at her first communion. La Iglesia is Spanish for church. I love the illustrations in this book. They are so colorful and bold and beautiful. El Barrio is silver street tenements, neon city streets, storefront churches, and bodegos that never sleep. El Barrio is where sometimes at night grandfather plays a soft bolero on his guitar. He sings to me and my sister of the olden days. This rosario once belonged to my grandmother. Now it belongs to my sister. The rosario is the rosary. El Barrio is a shimmering cold hydrant spray on a hot summer day, vegetable gardens instead of lawns, and brightly colored houses that look like villages. This is one of those illustrations that I always say I like to be in it because it looks fun and colorful and wonderful and so beautiful. El Barrio is Our Lady of Guadalupe candles, syrupy sweet churros, ice cold paletas, and a lemon yellow fire escape as tall as a city skyscraper. El Barrio is a quinceanera mass, a chiffon dress, a bouquet of roses for Our Lady of Guadalupe's brown hands. Papi places a glittering corona on my sister's head. What do you think a corona is in Spanish? crown. El Barrio is a heartbeat. Shh, listen. It's the sound of blaring trumpets, tejano, and salsa music tickling my feet. The mariachis play at all the quinceañeras in my neighborhood. El Barrio is a quinceañera waltz, my sister gliding across the floor with Poppy, whose heart is filled with pride and love. Today, my beautiful sister looks all grown up. In his culture, when you turn 15, it is a big, big, big celebration of becoming an adult, especially for young girls. El Barrio is where my grandparents dance into a slow ranchera at dusk, Bring the crowd to their feet. On this special day, my sister gives her baby dolls away to the little girls at her quinceanera. So when she turns 15, she gives all of her um, baby toys and baby dolls away to all the younger girls at her party. El Barrio is where my sister whispers in my ear, you made my quinceanera special just by being here that beautiful moon and his sister being so loving 
Isn't that kind to thank her brother for coming to her party, making her day? This is El Barrio, my home in the city. And at the end of the book, there's a glossary of all the Spanish words that we read in the book and what they mean in English. Barrio means neighborhood. So this is my neighborhood, the neighborhood that he lives in. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. I thought the illustrations were really beautiful and colorful. And this is just an amazing book. And I love that they had Spanish words mixed in so that I could understand still by looking at the pictures and reading the rest of the sentence what that word might mean in Spanish. Thank you, my Beekman Town Eagles.